Hey guys, well it was great to see you today and I'm so glad that all of you had a wonderful holiday. This unit is called the universe and this particular video is components of the universe. You looked at today in our activity how big, how far, and how old. And what you should have seen is that there are several different pieces that make up our universe. We call these pieces the components of the universe. If you talk about a component, a component is a piece. So like the game board, if you're playing Monopoly, you have components of the game, you have pieces. So we've got five components that make up our quote unquote outer space. We have stars. We're gonna spend a whole week to two weeks talking about stars, the individual characteristics, how we classify them, where we find them, um, what makes them up. So stars are a particular component of the universe. Planets are also another component of the universe. Now, some people would argue we don't know if there's other planets out there. Well, that's exactly right, because after the activity today, you should have seen that the universe is very large. Now, we also have bodies or objects that are flying through our universe on in the individual space or the vacuum that is outer space. We have something called meteors, meteorites, or meteoroids. And those are going to be found when they enter into Earth's atmosphere. Outside of Earth's atmosphere, we have things like comets and asteroids. Comets, a famous comet you'll, you'll recognize is Halley's Comet, and it'll make an orbit around. You're going to do an activity this week where you get to go through a scavenger hunt and find each one of these components and look at particular characteristics. Now each one of our five components has a several list of characteristics for each one of them. First of all, each component has a composition. Well, what does that mean? Well, that's the type of matter. Is it ice? Is it solid? Is it liquid? Is it gas? Is it made of rock? Does it have metal? What types of materials or matter make up that particular component? Then we have light production. Some of our bodies in our universe actually produce their own light, and we're going to look at which ones of those they are. The orbit pattern, remember that word when we talked about revolution, rotation, and orbit. An orbit is a pathway, and each of our individual components is going to have a specific orbit, or lack thereof, that we have to look at. Then the final characteristic is the location in the universe. Is it close to Earth? Is it further out? Is it in a completely different galaxy? Now, I just used the word galaxy, and hopefully what you saw in the video that I showed you at the end of class is that there are hundreds of billions of galaxies, and not all galaxies are the exact same. We have three types of main galaxies, a spiral galaxy, elliptical galaxy, and a regular galaxy, and that's what we're going to look at next. This is an example of a spiral galaxy. You'll notice that it has a spiral shape to it. It looks like it has individual arms. Each one of those arms is made up of gas and dust and individual stars or collections of stars. This is an example of the type of galaxy that our solar system is a part of. Our individual solar system is in the Milky Way galaxy. The reason that we call it the Milky Way galaxy is when we look up into the atmosphere, we can see the gas and the dust on one of the arms that we're on, and it gives it a milky appearance, or it looks kind of milky white. A spiral galaxy has all of the necessary materials for new stars to form, and we're going to talk a lot um, later on down the line about how stars actually form. So the Milky Way galaxy is an example of a spiral galaxy. You'll notice that it has a pinwheel shape. We are actually located on a portion of an arm of the Milky Way galaxy. The second type of galaxy is called an elliptical galaxy, and you'll notice this looks significantly different, flat like a pancake. You'll also notice that it's very dense and bright in the center versus what you saw with the spiral galaxy. This is because this is compact. Mostly old stars are going to make up elliptical galaxies. The third type is called an irregular galaxy, and you'll notice that this is an example. It doesn't even really have a shape. It's just a cloud kind of looking piece. The Magellanic Cloud is going to be an example of that kind of galaxy. So to infinity and beyond, and people, that's a wrap.